Hello. In this video, we are going to see how to make a simple task manager in C Sharp. Myself, Sai Satish, I am from Indian servers. For this, I am going to use Visual Studio IDE to develop simple task manager application. Go to File, New, Project. Download and install this Visual Studio. I am using the third party library, Telric, just to have more graphical UI. Simple task manager one and let me hit OK. And a blank screen in C sharp within few seconds, our form will be ready to code. Here is the rat form. Debugging F5 and uh, without debugging, you can you can run the form with Control F5. Now, let me paste Riot Grid View to list all the processes. I'm going to list all the processes in the Riot Grid View. Riot Grid View is placed. Let me make let me add one more button. I'll use this button to terminate the process. This is a right grid. Let me add four or five columns. Open property builder. Let me add the columns. Okay, four columns are enough. And the column names will be the first one will be process name and process ID that is PID. Here you can mention your virtual memory or processor set. Whatever you want to mention, you can mention. You can all use all these. You can use all this. Now let me go ahead and make. Let me go to the coding part. Let me create a function which lists all the running processes in my computer. Public void list of list all processes. For this, I have to use a namespace called diagnostics using system dot diagnostics. After adding namespace, come to the pro function, use a class process. All process equal to, I am going to get the all processes list with the help of the same class with a static method process dot get processes this is going to list all the running processes which are running in my computer now get processes off it's a static method we are going to call now for each and every process we have to go through a loop and all the processes name should be appended for my rad grid view let me dock this to bottom this to center so that even if we expand the form this grid view also will be expanded yep even this grid view also will be expanded as we expand our forms now for each process process P1 in all process, they should be appended for our rad grid view. Rad grid view dot rows dot add off. First one will be P1 dot name process name. 
comma p1 dot you can go ahead and use all these methods and you can get the details of it for example if we want to get id just select this id p1 dot p1 dot machine name you can use machine name p1 dot start at time start at time dot to short date string of let me close this but some of these processes will not show all the details and they may throw an exception so we are going to catch the exception and i'm not going to handle that exception in the catch block an empty block i'm going to use an empty block so control f5 yep see here everything is empty because i didn't call this particular function in the load now let us call this particular function in the load form load run this control f5 now all the processes will be recorded and will be shown like this process id there may be a repetition in the process name but there will be no repetition in the process id so we are going to use this button to kill a specific process and i want this particular table or this grid to be updated for every 5 seconds or for every 2 seconds or for, for every 1 second also you can update it how to do that come to the designer here you have a thing called timer click and drag this timer and enable this timer and 1000 will be its 100 is 100 milliseconds 1000 will be 1 second and 10000 will be 10 seconds 10 seconds are enough as of now and I want to change this button to kill process kill process now let me run this control f5 can you see any ms paint here ms paint not available right even if i sort it ms paint application is not available here okay now what i'm going to do is let me run this ms paint application Here you can notice that icon is visible. Now let me kill that process. Let me code that to kill. How to kill a process? Write this process p equal to process dot get process by id from add grid view dot selected row of zero dot cells of one because we are adding process id in the second cell dot value value throws an object so we have to make it the string string now p dot kill let me run this here now let me sort out you can see ms paint here with this process id here is the ms paint now I'm going to select this. I'm going to kill it. Automatically, it will be removed. The process will be terminated. Thank you for watching.